Welcome back again. Today we're going to talk about pump shift operations, otherwise known as seat operations. But I want to remind you of a couple of things that we talked about during the inspection video about the mechanism and the things that it should be doing and why things are happening the way that they are. So let's start over here with the cab. And in this area, on this particular truck, you see the pump shift, the pump shift lever. Okay, this is a pneumatically actuated system and it's electronically monitored or electronically controlled. Uh, when we shift the, the truck from road to pump, we're actually sending air pressure back to the mechanism on the transfer case, which allows the pump to go from road into pump. Okay, and you can hear the air pressure here as I release it by going to the center position. Now we'll talk about this center position later on when we go through the alternative uh, pump shift uh, procedures if you have problems with normal pump shifting. Okay. When you shift this lever all the way down, it applies air pressure to the, the piston cylinder that I, that I showed you in the, in the inspection video and it moves, the, it moves the mechanism out of road and into pump and then it allows the truck to drive the, the truck transmission to drive the pump uh, through, the, through the transfer case. So I'm going to put it back up into road and now I'm going to show you what looks like, what, sh what should be normal pump shift operations or in the Miami Fire Department we call it seat operations. So I'll get it cranked up and we'll go through that process. Anytime you're going to operate the truck controls, you must be seated in the seat with your foot on the service brake. There should never be any reaching into the truck while you're standing on the ground to operate any of the controls. That is a huge safety violation and I'm sure you can imagine the consequences if you push a lever or turn something while you're standing on the ground. We certainly don't want that to happen. So let me get the truck started up. Batteries. Mission. I'm allowing the computer to boot up. Okay. For this demonstration, we're going to simulate that I just arrived on the scene. I just arrived on the scene, and the company officer has asked me to put the truck in the pump gear got a working fire. I'm going to shift to neutral on the transmission shifter. I'm going to set the parking brake. It's important that you do it in that sequence because you want to release that drivetrain from the transmission. You want to release that torque from the, from the driveline so that when you shift the mechanism there's, there's no tightness in, that, in the driveline. So always go to neutral, set the parking brake. In this area you see the pump shift mechanism. It has two green lights. So we want to pull up on the on the on the collar and then shift down into pump. When that happens, you should get one green light. This one green light is telling you that the transfer case has now moved from road over to pump and the transmission is ready to drive the pump. Once you get one green light, then you reach up here to the transmission selector, you push drive which engages the transmission through the front drive shaft, drives the transfer case, which in turn drives the pump. Okay, you should also get a second green light that indicates that the transmission is engaged. And to confirm that you're actually in pump gear, you can look at your speedometer and you should get about a 15 mile per hour indication on your speedometer. This is telling you that the transmission is actually spinning now and driving the pump. Okay, I've got both green lights. My speedometer is at 15 miles an hour, so I'm pretty sure it's in pump gear, but I'm gonna make sure when I go back to the pump pan. Now, when, I'm, when I get out here, I wanna take the chocks and chalk the truck. Right? When I come to the pump panel, on this particular truck, I get a green light at the relief valve and I get a green light on the throttle control. You must have a green light here before you open the throttle. If the green light is, is not on, 
been, it may not have shifted fully into pump gear. And if you raise the throttle, the truck may move on you. But there's a good indication in the cab, two green lights and a speedometer deflection that I indeed am in, that I indeed am in pump gear. If I don't have a green light, another way to confirm that I'm in it is to get under the truck, take a look at that front drive shaft, and I should be able to see it spinning. Okay, the front drive shaft is spinning. I know absolutely I'm in pump gear. Now, I don't want the pump to continue spinning without a water supply. So I'm going to open my tank to pump valve. To supply water from the tank to the pump. All right. When the pump, when the pump gets water, you should see a deflection on the gauge. The pump is generating about 30 pounds of pressure. And if I raise the throttle, it should come up. If it doesn't come up, I may have air in the pump. If that's the case, I want to call the primer. The primer will evacuate the air out of the pump. You can see that now I have 50 pounds. So I had a little bit of air in the pump. I'm ready to pump for my tank at this point. Okay, now I'm going to talk to you uh, about your alternatives if your normal pump shift operations or seat operations don't work right. What do you do if you don't get the first green light? So let's go through it. Okay, I arrive on the scene. I go to neutral. I set my parking brake. We have a working fire. I want to go into pump gear. I reach over to my pump shift lever and I go down and I don't get the first green light. Okay, that's telling me that my transfer case is not moving out of road and into pump. What I want to do is back up and try that again. So I bring it back to road. Okay. Wait a second or two. I try shifting it again. Okay, it still doesn't work. 